Hello, this is Andrew from DPS TV. If you've ever had to jump into your truck and drive a long way out to a site just to reboot some jammed equipment, you know how expensive and frustrating that can be. You can't afford to waste time and money on truck rolls, but you can't just ignore those problems either. You also need the ability to deactivate your equipment remotely in the event of an HVAC failure. This allows you to shut down expensive infrastructure before it burns up, protecting against costly damage. Remote shutdown is also important when you have a commercial power failure, because you can turn power down from the devices you can live without and devote more power to core functions. What you need is a remotely accessible device that can toggle power to your site equipment without requiring a truck roll. Truck rolls eat up technician staff time, but also mean that it takes much longer for problems to be fixed. With a device that allows for remote power control, you'll be able to turn on, turn off, or reboot your critical devices remotely right from your desk. And that's exactly why this remote power switch AB6 was designed. It combines the functionality of a traditional fuse alarm distribution panel with a PDU, or power distribution unit, that can toggle power outputs to cycle your equipment. At just one rack unit in size, it's also a physical size match for most common fuse panels. The AB6 is divided into two halves for convenient use with redundantly powered gear. Six power relays on each half make a total of 12 power outputs. Each of the 12 relays supports up to 10 amps of current draw. A maximum current of 40 amps is supported on each six output side. The power relays are physical rather than solid state. This avoids certain power on surge issues that can blow solid state relays, and it also minimizes the risk of a relay becoming stuck on. Starting from the left side of the remote power switch AB6, you'll see a circuit breaker that handles six of the 12 power outputs and two open fuse slots to store spare fuses. Uh, moving to the right slightly, there's a serial port for initial unit configuration and six LEDs that reflect the current switched on or switched off status of each of those six outputs. Now moving past the center, you'll see essentially the same layout that was on the left side appear on the right. This is simply six more outputs on the B side. What is different about the right side of the unit is the LAN input port, which is conveniently located on the front for easy access. On the back side of the unit, you'll see the power inputs for the B-side outputs. And here are the connectors for the B-side outputs, as well as the grounding lug. And this structure again mirrors across the right side of the unit with six additional power outputs on the A-side and the power inputs for the A-side. To remotely access the AB6, you can use either the built-in web interface or your SNMP manager. Each of the 12 power relays may be turned on, turned off, or reset via SNMP set commands. For more information on the remote power switch AB6, send email to sales at dpstele.com or call 1-800-693-0351. For DPS TV, this is Andrew, signing off.